Hello again everybody. This is Toastmaster Tim with yet another video tutorial on how to work with your free Toast Host website. This is video number 13 and today we're going to be talking about how to add scrolling text to your website. I didn't really think that much about it. I added the scrolling text to my website just because I wanted to. But I had some people ask about how to do that. And so that's why we're having this video tutorial today. Before we get into the nuts and bolts of this though, I would like to show you a website called Quack It. Quack It. Q-U-A-C-K-I-T dot com. And this is a place where you can pick up HTML code. So if I go to their home page and then I click on HTML codes, and once I go here, then it's got text codes, color codes, HTML links, scroll boxes, and marquees. And this is where I got the code for the scrolling text. So if I click on HTML marquee codes, then once it opens up, I have to scroll down on this page until I get to my HTML marquees. And this is where I got the code, continuous scrolling text. And you see that it's got slide in text, text bouncing back and forth, text scrolling upwards, change the scrolling speed, scrolling images. So there's a number of different scrolling elements that you can use. But we're just going to talk about this continuous scrolling text. I don't like it to get too complicated personally. But you don't really have to go to the Quackit website to get this code because I'm going to add this code into the notes once I upload this video to YouTube. All right, so let's get to it. Now, I've got a page that I'm going to add the scrolling to. So let me click on Edit This Page. And OK, so it brought up my test page. And I'm going to delete the words test page here. And then I need to click on the Source button. I click on the Source button and it takes me to the source code page. Now here is the code, the marquee code. And you see that it's really not that complicated. It's just a few words. And I'm copying this. And now I'm going to move this out of the way. And I'm going to paste this in to my source code page. And the important things that ha have to happen here is the word marquee has to be at the front, and the slash marquee at the end, and then that allows it to scroll. And you see your text goes here, and that's what's going to show up on our WYSIWYG once we go back. So I'm clicking on the source code, source button again, and you see your text goes here. Now, the beautiful thing about this is if you want to change this text now, I mean, you of course can change, you can go back to your source and you can add in here whatever text you want. But once you've got whatever text in there that you want, you can highlight this and you can make it bold, you can italicize it, you can change the styles. You can change from normal to some type of heading. You can change the font. You can change the size. And so I'm going to change the size to, I'm going to go to 16. And you see it automatically updated it. So I have your text goes here in bold, italic and the font size of 16. And when we go back to the source page, you see that it added all of that information, 16 
pixels. And the EM stands for the italicized. Strong stands for the bold. So all of that code was automatically added in when I began to manipulate and work with the scrolling text. And that's pretty much it. That was really easy. But I'm going to go ahead and save this. And I'm going to wait until I get my success message, which I have. And then I'm going to close. And then I'm going to refresh the page. And once the page refreshes, you see that we have the scrolling your text goes here on this page. So that's it. That was very, very easy, simple, and I am done. Let the games begin for you. This is Toastmaster Tim, signing out.